Okay, so Google Stitch just released a new tool called Redesign Agent. And basically with this new tool, you can provide a screenshot of a website. You can also provide the URL or website and you can ask AI to make some changes. So this is very useful if you want to imitate or copy the design from your competitor or perhaps you have your own website and you want to iterate the design really, really quickly. And this AI agent from Google Stitch is going to be very, very useful. So I have this one example, which is basically the website of Mistral and I just asked it to change the color palette from orange into purple so this is the result and I would say it is able to maintain more or less the overall layout of the website it is not quite perfect but again this is actually a picture because this AI agent is heavily using the Gemini Nano Banana Pro to recreate the look of the website so I'm going to show exactly how you can utilize this uh, AI agent feature in Google Stitch and some limitations that you need to be aware of. So let's get into it. First, let's navigate to stitch.withgoogle.com and after that, you can log in with your Google account. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use the website The Verge uh, for my example. And basically, my goal here is I want to make the website to be less cluttered and also i want to change the theme color from dark to something lighter so i'm going to just copy the url or website and let's go back to google stitch and i'll select web design and given that i want to use the redesign agent feature i'm going to switch to redesign and i'm going to click this and i'm going to enter the website url by the way you can always Provide the screenshot if you prefer that way. You can upload a picture of the screenshot, and after that, you might describe the redesign or edit for the website. Now, in this case, I want to tell AI to please change the theme color from dark to light and also make the website less cluttered and utilize material UI design. Okay, let me just verify the prompt. I think everything looks right now when you're done you can click generate and just wait for the ai agent to visit the website and then look into it and then apply some changes and by the way google stitch might ask you a few questions or clarification like perhaps what are pages that you want to generate what are the design the colors etc so you might want to go back and forth with ai until it is able to know exactly the the elements or items that you want to modify so this process will actually take quite some time depending on the policy of the website because i do notice that when i'm testing this feature there are some websites that are very difficult to visit for ai agents and i think this is very common in a lot of websites these days so perhaps when that happens, or if your website or the competitor's website cannot be visited you might want to use a chrome extension called go full page and this allows you to actually visit the website yourself and after that you can take a screenshot and then you'll get the png file and after that you can upload that image file to google stitch so it's going to be a lot faster than actually entering the url so yeah that's one limitation so if you want to get something very very quickly i highly recommend to just uh, take a screenshot of the website and then send that to Google Stitch. But given that I already sent the URL and uh, I guess I have to wait. So I'll just be back and I'll show you the next step that you can do. Okay, so this is the result. And according to AI, this is the kind of website that I probably want. It is not the best looking, but at least it is able to actually visit the first website and actually make some changes and create this mockup based on my request. So uh, this is actually just a picture. It's not in a code format yet, which we'll talk about later. But for now, we can actually ask AI to make some changes on this design. So just click on the uh, picture and then click edit, click annotate. And after that, you can select the area that you want to change. In this case, let's say I want to change the navigation menu color to black, change the navigation bar to black. And after that, I'm going to add another comment. So this is going to be this section. I want to have two column hero section make the hero section to column okay so when you're done you can oh sorry when you're done you can click this apply button and just wait for gemini nano banana pro to apply the changes based on the request so it is it will be creating another picture or another variation based on your request
Okay, so my attempt to modify the design seems to be unfruitful because I was only able to, to change the color of the navigation bar, but the hero section still remains at one column. So yeah, I kept seeing the same problem. So perhaps there's a reason why this feature is still in preview. It is not yet quite perfect. Anyway, if you are interested to turn this mocha picture into a website, you can click on the design click generate and then click the code version so after that it might take about five minutes to generate the code for the ui and after that you can see the code you can download export or perhaps you can also use it in the google ai studio to turn that into a real website or app but yeah in general that's basically how you can use the redesign agent in google stitch you can insert your screenshot you can also enter the url of our website that you want to modify it is not quite perfect and i think the term AI agent seems to be loosely defined but at least we have a tool or an extra tool in google stitch that we can use to save our time and become more productive especially if you want to iterate the process of uh, prototyping or designing your own website so that's basically it thanks so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead